a visual approach to the index match formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and then we'll walk through it. So index and a left open parentheses. So in index, we're wanting to return one cell from a data set. And so here is my data set here. Go ahead and select that. And then what index does is you can insert a row number and a column number. So for the sake of this first demo, I'm just gonna use these cells here and then hit that check mark. So what we have is R1C1. And so for this data, to make it very visual, I label each one with the row number and the column number. So it's very easy to tell what is being returned. And so I have row one and column one, and so we have R1, C1. So if I change this, I go to five, for example. Now I have row five, column one. And the same thing if I change this column. There we go, R5, C2, which is right here. And so let's go to index match, and we're gonna take this to the next level. So first, I need to show you what match does. Equals match and then I'm gonna pick a key. So let's start with the month. Now one thing is I have merged cells, so if you see that colon and another cell, go ahead and delete that and just pick the first one. And then for that month, we're going to match it to these months right here. And so once we have those selected, then I'm gonna add zero and close that formula. Now you can see we have six. So if we look down here at June, that is indeed row six. So let's go ahead and change this to February. And there we have two. And so you might be ahead of me. What we're gonna do is put this match inside the index formula. So let's do index and then left open parentheses. And what we're gonna do, let me put a comma here, is select our data again. So just our data in here, put it on the bottom. And we have our match already in place, so that will work. We'll just pick one as our filler for the moment. So go ahead and enter, and we have row two, column one. So if I change this month again, let's go back to maybe to June. Now we have row six, column one. So all we have to do now is add this agent as a match inside here, and we'll have that index match fully functioning. So let's go to where we have that one filler here, and then let's go ahead and put another match, and open parentheses, and our key this time will be the agent, and then again, let's get rid of those extra cell references, comma, and then select our agents here on our columns, and then comma, and zero to close that out our final parentheses right there. And there we go, R6C6. So June is six and Zane is also in six. So if we change the agent, now we have Carter. Carter is in two, so we have R6C2.